In this movie, we'll take a look at the ping format, which is very popular in the world of interactive design. Like TIFF, it supports full color images as well as lossless compression. It does not support layers. However, it does support transparency. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the Pegasus and we're going to make it more colorful. And so step one is to go up to the window menu and choose the channels command in order to switch to the channels panel. And what I want to do is take what I'm seeing and convert it to a selection outline. So in the world of masking inside Photoshop, anything that's white will become selected and anything that's black will be deselected. And to convert what we're seeing to a selection, you just drop down to this little icon down here at the bottom of the panel, the load channel is selection icon, and you click on it, and that selects the background without selecting the horse. We actually want things to work the other way around. So I'll go up to the select menu and choose the inverse command, and that will select everything that wasn't selected and deselect everything that was. So in other words, now the black horse is selected. All right, next, go ahead and switch back to the Layers panel, and let's scroll up to the top of the list and click on the top layer like so. Now what I want you to do is go over here to the Layer menu, choose New Fill Layer, and choose Gradient. And I'm going to call this layer Fountain, let's say, and I'll click OK. And then inside the Gradient dialog box, click the down pointing arrowhead and go ahead and select this factory-defined preset, which is blue, red, yellow. So I'll go ahead and click on it to make it active, and then I'll click off that little sub-panel to hide it. I'm going to change the style to radial, like so, and I'll also turn on the reverse checkbox so we're starting yellow in the center and ending blue at the outside. And then I'll click OK in order to accept that change. Now we don't need any of these other layers. And the easiest way to get rid of them is to go up to the Select menu and choose the All Layers command. And then go ahead and control click or command click on an empty portion of this fountain layer in order to turn it off. And now you can press the backspace key or the delete key on the Mac to get rid of all those layers. That goes ahead and leaves the background because after all, the background is not a layer. It's a flat image in back of everything else. And yet we want to delete it too. So go ahead and press the backspace key or the delete key again so that you reveal the checkerboard transparency. So in other words, we have a horse-shaped image against a transparent background. Now, anytime you do this kind of stuff, you want to save your changes as a native PSD file by going up to the File menu. And I recommend the Save As command because we just got done really wrecking the old image. We don't want to save over it. So choose Save As or press Control-Shift-S or Command-Shift-S on the Mac. And then notice I've already created this file in advance, three color gradient. So I'll go ahead and click on it to select it. I'll make sure the layers checkbox is on. We want to make sure that the as a copy checkbox is turned off. And then I'll go ahead and click the save button, at which time Photoshop will confirm that I want to replace the existing file, which I do. So I'll go ahead and click yes. All right, now that my modifications have been backed up as a native PSD document, which is very important, you always want to do that. Now I'll return to the file menu and once again choose the Save As command. And this time I'll change the file format to ping, right there, PNG, by the way. And I'll click on Psychedelic Pegasus to save over that file. Notice that as a copy is turned on and everything's dimmed, I can't save my layers to the PNG format. So this is my only option. At which point I'll go ahead and click the Save button and I'll click Yes in order to save over the existing file. Your ping options are pretty scant. You have compression, which you want to set to smallest slow. It will save slow, by the way. Ping is not a super fast format, but you do not want to set it to none. That will just deliver a big file. Next, for interlace, you want to set that to none because otherwise the file is going to load oddly inside of a web browser. So in other words, just stick with the default settings and then click OK. And you'll see this little progress bar telling you how much of the file is saved, depending on the size of the file. It might take a while, but Photoshop does background saving, which means you can still edit the file as it's being saved, or you can switch to a different file if you prefer. All right, now let's go ahead and open that file we just saved by going up to the file menu and choosing the open command or pressing control O or command O on the Mac. There is the file right there, at which point I'll go ahead and click on the open button and notice 
it appears as an independent layer. Now, it does not retain its name, which was Fountain, as you may recall. And also, we don't have the layer mask. So this is the actual PSD file right here, complete with the layer name Fountain and a layer mask. Whereas inside the ping file, we just have a static layer. So in other words, everything outside the layer mask has been clipped away. Meanwhile, I can open the same image, such as in this case, Chrome, at which point I can zoom in by clicking on the image in order to get this amazing degree of detail. And that's how you save an interactive image, whether for a device or for the web, as a ping file complete with transparency inside Photoshop.